nominates only. <laughs> Madam Speaker, thank you, Madam. Yes. yes. Madam, the University of Hyderabad, yes. where the spark called Rohit Vemla got extinguished, is in the Chevella, my parliament constituency, Madam, and and the member of the court of the University of Hyderabad. So I have a few insights, Madam. I would appreciate if you give two, three minutes extra for me. <laughs> Madam, uh, the last letter, don't get angry on me. I have no complaints with anyone. I always wanted to be a writer. My birth is a fatal accident. And there was no urgency, but I'm always rushing, desperate to start a life. And I would not be around when you read this letter. Madam, he was boycotted. His scholarship was withheld. And he was suspended. And probably country lost another Carl Sagan itself. Madam, the institutions have become insensitive, madam. Every stakeholder in an institution is important. The students, the teachers, the staff, the parents, and the local society, the local community where the university is, as well as the central government and the HRD minister. But madam, I think the behavior of the VC and the administration now in this government, as well as I had the opportunity to interact with three other VCs in the past government, it is the same, regardless of the government, the VCs of central universities say they are accountable for nobody except the ministry in Delhi, madam. And I think that has to change. Madam, in the same constituency next to Hyderabad University, there is the Indian School of Business, madam. Some of the universities in India, many abroad, they go out of the way to involve local communities and take the opinion and they integrate themselves with the culture and become sensitive to the issues. And that is not happening. We are not even doing the mandatory, madam. Madam, on 4th December, one month notice in November, saying that 4th December we'll have a court meeting of the University of Hyderabad. I and two other MPs are members of that, and we requested it be postponed. They would not even answer. We requested because the parliament session is on. If they're not even sensitive to us and the local community, I doubt they'll be sensitive to the students, madam. We did not give them get a letter, written letter. Madam, the autonomy of the institutions are being destroyed, and that is the main culprit, madam. And like I said, it has happened in the previous government. Madam, the appointments to the board are made without proper feedback, and it is an allegation. It's only the elitist who are in the administration, but I think those allegations are true, madam. If you look at the, the senior most officers from the VC onwards, they are all elitist, madam. And I think they have lost in touch with the students. Madam, we have heard of so many adventure tourism. We have heard of medical tourism. We have heard of culture tourism. But we invented a new thing, madam. It's called political tourism, madam. And the hub of political tourism was my constituency. Every party of every kind, especially those who are against the ruling party, have made it a political tourism destination, madam. Madam, do we need to politicize this issue, madam? And I, madam, being in the center of the house, benefit of object of speaking of objectively, madam. And this is not the first suicide, madam. There were nine other suicides. Sendil Kumar, Raju, in the same university, Balraj, and so on. Why this is happening now? It is. It is because of political opportunism, madam. And I would not want to blame the, this side of the house or that side of the house. I would equally blame both of them. They are not focusing on the solution and the direct. It is, the issue is being politicized, madam. Madam, at the same time, we had the municipal cooperation of Hyderabad elections. It was on this uh, 10 days later. Being in my constituency, madam, and uh, our rivals, political rivals and friends in the parliament are here. But uh, it was a great opportunity for us to politicize that. But our chief minister, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, emphatically told, being your constituency, you go there once, don't sit in the dharna, and never talk about in the GHMC elections. Madam, we have swept Telangana. If there was an Achilles heel for our party, it was Hyderabad, madam. And despite it being so important for us to win, our chief minister, our leader, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, has emphatically mentioned that do not politicize and not once we bought this issue. And that was the constituency. We had zero cooperators. Now 100% of the cooperators, without politicizing, 
we have 100% of the uh, of the cooperators there. And that is the statementship that we required, madam. That is what we required from both sides of the house. Yes. Also coming, to two other points, madam. Coming to the impending GST bill, we also need some bipartisanship, madam. Madam, just two more points, madam. Every once in a while, we have to confront these issues. There are various causes and reasons attributed to Rohit Vemla's nationalism, Dalit issue, casteism, and uh, secularism and various. Madam, just as secularism cannot be the patent right of Congress, nationalism cannot be the patent right of BJP, madam. I think being in the center of the house, and I think when two elephants fight, they say it's the grass that suffers, madam, but actually we are not grass, madam. We are the voice of the country, and I think that is very, very important that we understand what is required and bipartisanship system is re required. Madam, in some countries for chewing gums, democratic countries, for chewing gums they are caned, caned in public. In other countries for saying a lot less than saying Mahmoud should not be jailed or should not be hanged, they would have gone to rendition camps in other democratic and developed countries. But madam, our level of tolerance should be much, much, much higher, madam. Madam, I think both my friend Anurag ji as well as Sindhya ji raised the word Desh Drohi. Like in Desh Drohi, apna khanun mein hi nahi hai. Madam, we do not have sedition laws. So there are two solutions, madam. One is autonomy of the institutions, and secondly, we should have laws which are not ambiguous, madam. The closest to the sedition laws is 124A, where there are subjective words which can be interpreted any which way they want, hatred and things like that. Madam, we should have definitive laws, madam, and hopefully in the coming sessions we make yes. definitive laws. <laughs> Lastly, madam, it was Carl Sagan who said, we make our world significant by the courage of a question and the depth of the answers. Yes. Yes. Madam, Rohit Vemla asked us a question, and we need to find the courage and the wisdom to find that solution, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you.